So, you've just bought automation. Hooray! And you want to learn how to make the car. Double hooray! I've got plenty of experience making realistic cars. You can trust my word, don't worry about that. First thing you're gonna wanna do is create your company. Give it a really, really interesting name like that. All this stuff here doesn't really matter. Here we are at the body selection menu. First thing you're gonna wanna do is select the time period the car is made in. This will determine the technology available, types of body shapes you can use, and how interesting it's going to be. No, I'm not interested. For the sake of this video, we're going to make the, the most basic of basic cars cars, some 90s eco shed, so think like Toyota Corolla, Vauxhall Cavalier, Ford Mondeo, all very interesting cars. Pick a particularly blobby looking body, yeah you'll do. And because this is a 90s eco shed, it's going to need to be mass produced and sold as cheaply as possible. So just, just make it out of all like the cheapest stuff you can. Front transverse, yes. Now the engine, what do you want to inline for? Don't bother picking anything else. This is not a sports car. This is meant to be slow and economical. You don't want anything bigger than like 1.6 litres. Let's go for a 1.5. Wow. Head and valves. Just pick whatever you want. Compression can be, I don't know, whatever that. We want ourselves some fuel injection. A nice fat catalytic converter to choke the shit out of the engine. Wow, 66 horsepower. <laughs> Sheesh. Now when you're tuning this engine, the only stat you want to pay attention to is this one right here. Engine efficiency. So the higher this number, the more, the more MPGs you're going to achieve. Looking good so far. There we go. 20 efficiency. That is good. I think. Also going to want to give it a name that everyone can easily decipher. There we go. And this is the, uh, the, the, the good variant. Don't bother painting it. We don't have the resources for that. Drive type. You only want front wheel drive. It's 1995. What is rear wheel drive? I'm going to stick a manual gearbox in this because I'm not a Neanderthal. Five speed. Open diff. Disc brakes on the front, drums on the rear, basic interior. You can have ABS, depends on how safe you want your car to be. I'm not bothered because that costs money. Look at that, 41.9 miles per gallon. That's what we want. Now that all the complicated stuff is out of the way, we can now get on to designing the 90s Eco Shed. Now you could try coming up with some kind of like funky original design. That's boring, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get a picture of a Vauxhall Cavalier off the internet and just copy it. So if you don't know what to do when you're designing a car, just copy what someone else has already done. I'm sure it's legal. There we go, nice and simple. Also, be sure to cover your car in lots of black plastic trim. Yes. Signature 90s eco shed look. A number plate up there as well. There we go, how interesting does that look? More black plastic trim. Now for the rear, or more plastic trim on the back. Even more black plastic trim. Wow. Very nice. Now for the wheels. Some cheap ass looking hubcaps. That was perfect. And paint the car in a very 90s colour. Like a nice, like a nice maroon red. Wow. <laughs> or if you're not feeling maroon red, you can have ocean teal, chocolate brown, ruined white, or grey. Now that we've got the exterior sorted, it's time to do the interior. In goes the dashboard. You're going to want to make the dashboard out of plastic. Nothing else. Mmm, yes. You want this interior to be a miserable place to be. Make your flooring out of plastic as well. In go the seats. Very interesting. Give your seat a funky 90s bus seat pattern. Wow, look at that. It's not all doom and gloom in here. Don't forget about the rear seats. This is a family car afterwards. Be sure to give it the same funky 90s bus seat pattern. These proportions seem a bit weird. <laughs> It's fine. It's meant for Europeans. They're smaller. And if you want to give your 90s interior a proper aged finish, just, just turn up this dirtiness slider. Wow. <laughs> mm, aged like a fine milk. And that's it. You have officially made an car. All that's left is to give it a name. There we go. Don't be afraid to put badges on your car. People are going to know what you're driving. And that should be everything. And if you follow this tutorial, you should now have in front of you and car. All I've got to do now is export it, and she's ready to be taken for a spin. You know what? <laughs> and here it is, wow! Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the interesting, and its competitor, the Covet. The Covet makes a bit less power and torque than the interesting, but I think the Covet is a bit lighter because the interesting is a big four-door saloon car, and this is a tiny two-door hill hatchback. He's pulling away. Hanumd, he is pulling away. How is this happening? This is unacceptable. Bro, I do not believe my eyes. Look at the absolute velocity of the interesting. I am flat out, by the way. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Have it, you. <laughs> Well, we lost that one. Maybe we'll win on fuel economy. Right, we're going to get up to 70 miles an hour, put it in top gear, and see what kind of MPG we get. Right, that's 70, put it in fifth. 50 miles a gallon? That's pretty good. 
Now what about the covered? We do it. Um, Seventy. Put it in top here, which is fourth. Oh dear, it's not looking good for the covered. It's about thirty miles a gallon. Yeah, that's that's not so good. <laughs> <laughs> all these names for all this stuff. Interesting chassis mesh. Interesting gasoline fuel tank. Interesting front wheel drive transfer case. Interesting double wishbone suspension. <laughs> Everything's really interesting. They've taken it for a spin around the handling circuit. It handles exactly how you'd expect a 90s eco shed to handle. Very vague steering inputs. You don't really know what the car's going to do until it does it. Oh dear. The covert, on the other hand, much less vague steering input, probably because it's a lighter car. That still doesn't mean it's good, though. <laughs> Go on, get! Also, while you chaps weren't looking, I made a few uh, modifications to the car. You see, this thing's got a rather uh, interesting looking hood scoop, big 19 inch wheels, and the soft racing tyres, the quad exit exhausts. It's also got the uh, 7 litre badge. I may, may have, may not have stuck a 7 litre V12 in the interesting. <laughs> I'll let you figure out what VF stands for. What happens if you stick a 7 litre V12 in a 90s eco shed? Speed! Oh, God. oh dear. Oh, the interior! It's gone! Yeah, let's pit these two against each other. I wonder who will win. See a chump! <laughs> Even with racing slicks on, this thing is quite hard to keep in a straight line. Oh god, this thing has got heaps of speed. Oh, there's a corner, there's a corner, there's a corner, there's a corner, there's a wall! <laughs> you can see the base model slowly approaching in the distance. The speed! Oh my goodness, the speed! Look at him go! Look at the absolute failure that is that, is that man. <laughs> Whoops, he's dead. Oh, I found the remains of the covert. Hello, chap. Oh, get! Right, I think it's time to pit these two against each other on Hirochi Raceway. I actually don't know who's going to win, because the interesting is slower, but the AI could also just, just ruin itself and drive into a wall. I don't know, we'll find out. Three, two, one, we died! Flying start! <laughs> the covert is pulling away. Maybe we can catch him on the corners, or maybe we can just we can just cheat. <laughs> well, we've caught up to him. He's slowly pulling away. Good God. <laughs> yeah, the brakes do not like to be used. Maybe I should have given it ABS. Come on. How hard can it be to overtake the little car? Oh, oh, have it, mate. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, he's off. I'm counting that as a win. You can suck my nuts. And across the line, winning the race absolutely fairly. No cheating. I wonder when the covert will show up. Where is he? Mr. Covert Man? Oh god! You maniac! You ruined my lap! Subscribe to Rock TV! Subscribe to Rock TV! Subscribe to Rock TV! Subscribe to Rock TV! Yeah! What the hell is happening back there? <laughs> what the hell? What in the indeterminable mess has happened to my car?